Can you solve this math puzzle? We have three ones and we want them to equal six by just applying some basic math operations. Now there's only two rules. Rule number one is no adding any new digits. And rule number two is that the equation must actually equal six. There's no funny business happening here. But why stop at just ones? In this video, we're going to do this for all of the numbers between one and 10. We're gonna do it from what I think is easiest to hardest. And many of these have multiple ways to solve. So if you did it a different way, definitely drop your answer in the comments so we can talk about it. Let's start with the easiest one. 2. So the reason this is the easiest one is because, well, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. Nothing crazy going on here. Let's take a look at the second easiest one, and that's 6. Well, 6 plus 6 is 12, minus 6 is 6. Again, there's many other ways to do it, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to settle on 1. Next, we'll do 5. Now, what I came up with for this one is 5 plus 5 divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 5 plus 1 is 6. Now, along those same lines, you can actually do 7 a very similar way. Because 7 would just be 7 minus 7 over 7. Because 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 7 minus 1 is 6. Here's where we start to get into the harder ones, though. Starting with number 3. So for 3, the way I did it was just 3 times 3 minus 3. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 3 is 6. But now when I look at this next one, it's a little bit tougher because there's an extra step. This is 9. So 9 looks a little bit challenging until I put square roots on everything. Because now I'm just looking at a problem of 3, 3, and 3. And as we literally just did a moment ago, it's just 3 times 3 minus 3. Along the same lines, we can actually solve 4. Because if we put square roots on all of the 4s, then it's just a problem of 2. And 2 was the easiest one. We did it first. It's just 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. Let's move on to this next one, the one that you saw in the title. 1, 1, and 1 equals 6. Well, that's easy. It's just 1 plus 1 plus 1. Oh, wait. That's not 6. We're going to have to factorial it. Because 3 factorial is 6. Remember, factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. Now we've only got two left. Let's take a look at how to do 10. So 10 is a little bit complicated, but the first thing I'm going to do is actually make it equal 9. So 10 minus 10 over 10 is 9. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. Now if I square root the 9, it's going to give me 3. And finally, as we just did, if I factorial 3, it's going to give me 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Not so bad once you know the answer, is it? Let's take a look at what many people would consider the hardest one, and that's 8. But it really follows the same premise that we just did for 10, just reverse. I'm still going to make it equal 9, so 8 plus 8 divided by 8. I'm going to square root all of that to get myself 3, and then I'm going to factorial that to get myself 3. 6. Now take a look at all of these. These are the solutions that I came up with, but if you found any other ones, let me know in the comments. There's many ways to do all of these problems, and I'm curious to see what some of you have come up with. Share this with a friend that you think would enjoy this puzzle.